Hello, my name is Kevin Clay, and I am one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions Incorporated. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the uh, ANOVA, or the one-way ANOVA, using Minitabs version uh, 20. Just to give you a brief uh, introduction to the, uh, this, that tool, uh, the ANOVA. The ANOVA is a uh, statistical hypothesis test that uh, looks at if there is a difference uh, in two or more distributions of data. So it looks at the, the uh, mean or the average of the data uh, and compares uh, and tells you if there is a statistically significant difference uh, in, in those distributions of data. Uh, what you're looking at here uh, in, in the actual data uh, on the screen is data that's taken from a, uh, a fictional project that we uh, show to our both our green belts and our black belts. It's for them to kind of have a benchmark uh, for which they do their project um, and to see how each of the tools are used. So uh, what you're looking at here is uh, we are trying to determine if there is uh, a difference in the amount of uh, jelly put or added to the bottom piece of bread on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right. So this uh, this project uh, or this the sample data is taken from a fictitious company called uh, Peanut Butter and Jelly Inc. Uh, they are trying to lower the cost of uh, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And, and uh, in this case, they think there is there's some difference between the standard amount of jelly that should be put on a peanut butter or on a uh, the bottom slice of a, uh, of a PBJ sandwich and what's actually being put on. So they're looking to see again, if there is a difference in shifts in the application of jelly on that bottom piece of bread. All right, so we'll, uh, uh, we're gonna use the assistant uh, in Minitab version 20. The assistant makes uh, uh, statistical analysis a lot easier for us. We teach this specifically to our green belts. Uh, we're, we're gonna go down to hypotheses tests. Um, and then we're gonna go to one-way ANOVA. Okay, I've already filled in the dialog box here. Uh, our Y data column is going to be uh, in JY bottom. Okay, so that, that's a column that uh, basically has the amount of product that is put on a uh, piece of bread. And then our X value column is shift. Uh, and we have three levels to the X, uh, first shift, second shift, and third shift. And we are trying to determine if there is a difference. There really shouldn't be because they all should be applying, you know, uh, around the same exact average. Okay, our alpha level is 0 0.05. Uh, in this case, uh, we can change that. Okay, but we're going to leave this at 0 0.05. Uh, and our difference, uh, uh, what difference between the means has practical value? This is basically saying that uh, a difference of 0.12, uh, that amount of difference really has a significance to us. Okay, so uh, that's going to help us to understand if we have taken a large enough sample size to, to really represent that, that amount of difference. We'll hit OK. All right, we get uh, a number of informative graphs. We'll go all the way down to the bottom to the report card. Uh, the report card tells us, number one, that we have some unusual data. All right. so. Uh, this unusual data usually shows up as red dots. Uh, and we call those signals because that the, those potentially could be um, uh, what the problem or could lead you to the problem that you're trying to solve within your Six Sigma, Lean Six Sigma project. So uh, I'll show you that in the uh, next graph. 
uh, it says we have enough, a large enough sample size to um, show a difference between uh, the, the means. Uh, and we also have enough data to show normality, all right? Because our sample sizes are at least 15, uh, that gives us uh, enough data to really show whether we're normal or not. And, and in this case, the data seems to be normal. So we'll move to the next graph. The next graph is our power report. This tells us, you know, uh, if we've taken a large enough sample size. So because we've taken a sample size of 30, you'll he see here, so a shift one, a sample size of 30, shift two and shift three, all with a sample size of 30. Um, and it says that with the sample size of 30, we have potentially a 91 to a 95.9 percent chance of detecting a difference between the means of, uh, in this case, point, uh, point 0.12. So that that's uh, you know that's good enough for us. Okay, and it gives you a uh, visual here that helps you kind of understand where that interval lies, uh, and ours lies right here. Okay, between. Uh, I'm sorry, 91 and 95.9%. Okay, here we uh, have our diagnostic report. And, and this is where we can see uh, where those potential uh, unusual observations are. All right, and this is that unusual observation. So again, this could be a signal. This is something that uh, we educate our green belts to say, okay, let's stop. Uh, what caused that? Because that that potentially could be uh, the cause of the process problem that we're trying to solve. Then we move into our summary report. This just kind of... Uh, uh, summarizes all the information we seen we have seen in the previous graphs. Okay, so it says, uh, do the means differ? This is up in the upper left hand corner, uh, and we have a p value of 0 0.054. Okay, a p value of 0 0.054, and with, with our confidence interval being 95 percent, this p value tells us that uh, the, the means that there is no statistically significant difference between the three means. So they, uh, they are statistically equal, right? So therefore there's nothing going on here. And, and you know, you're gonna find that a lot of times. You might see a visual difference in looking at the mean, but we as Six Sigma practitioners don't, don't look at the data visually, we look at it statistically. And while there might be a visual difference, that there, there may not be a statistically significant difference. And, and we see that here. So that's why you see that none are identified because um, uh, statistically they are all they are all the same. Okay, so uh, I hope you have uh, gained a little bit more uh, knowledge uh, about the analysis of variance or the ANOVA. Uh, again, my name is Kevin Clay, and I'm one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. And uh, my email is kclay, that's K-C-L-A-Y, at Six Sigma. DSI.com. I will put that down in the uh, uh, information at the bottom of this YouTube video. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day.